Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to Coding with Cheeks. Today we are going to learn how to fetch data of subcategories and when category will be clicked, we have to load all the subcategories along with their products. So let's first quickly have a look what we are going to create. Okay, our application is running, data is being loading and you can see the category is loaded at the top. So when I am going to click on any of the category, you can see that we have the banner and after that we have list of subcategories sports equipment port shoes and track suits you can scroll through these products and also you can scroll through these elements you can see we can add products to the wish list remove products to the wish list which is the previous tutorial and also when you click on any of the product you can see all the details that we have already completed so this is what we are going to learn today we are creating flutter e-commerce application and we have already covered all the previous sections where section one was about to set up a new project set up theme folder structure in the second section we learn how to design login screens then in the third section we designed the complete e-commerce app and section 4 was about to start the backend in which we completed the firebase authentication and now in section 5 which is the last section we are about to create the categories tutorial and after the section we will start the payment gateways and also we'll create admin panel after that so let's get started with today's tutorial <music> Open your project let's head towards the feature and go to the shop feature in the screens in the home screen open home dot and inside the primary header we are creating categories right over here so we have a separate section of t home categories let's open this and we have already learned how to load all the categories in the first tutorial of this section if you're new you can watch the previous videos to load all the categories and also we talked about that how we are going to handle categories and subcategories in the database if we open the Firebase console in the Firestore database, you can see we have a categories collection and inside we have a categories data. We have image of the category is featured and name of the category and then we have a parent ID. This is going to define its a child or its a parent. If the parent ID is null or empty, this means that this category itself is a parent and when we open another category, and you can see a parent ID is one. This means it is a child of this category which is one which is sports so now we are going to loop through these categories and try to extract all the subcategories of any selected category and then based on those categories we will head towards the product category table because we have a relation between the category and product inside this collection because they have many to many relations so to handle this we have uh, you can say one product can go into multiple categories and one category will have multiple products so to create a many to many relationship we have created a new collection of product category in which we have a category id and product id this category id can be a category id of either a main category or a subcategory so it will work on all of these categories so based on these tables we are going to extract all the products of each subcategory so let's head back and inside whenever this t vertical image text is going to be tapped you can see we are redirecting to the next screen which is subcategory screen and now whenever this on tab will be triggered we want to pass the current tapped category which we have over here let's pass it this way and we have to accept it or we have to open this subcategory screen inside the screen create category variable and we have to add it inside the constructor to receive it and the error is gone now to display title message we will remove the static message and using this category dot name we will display the current selected category remove the constant you can see we have each subcategory inside this column we will first print the subcategory title over here which we will extract first and then inside this list view we are going to pass all the product using this card horizontal style we'll pass the product and that is going to display all the products of that specific subcategory so first of all we are going to use the category controller dot instance because this was the controller that is going to handle all the category related actions these are the things we created already while fetching the main categories on the home screen we are definitely going to use this second function which is get category products we will pass the category id we will give the limit and we will be able to extract the products of the specific category we will go through this one as well but we are going to load the subcategories over here okay i've created a function and also i've added try catch over here because we forget to add try catch in the previous tutorial so create a function which will be a type of future async because we have to call the cloud query and it is going to return us a list of category models basically these will be the subcategories and we are going to pass the category id based on this category id we will be able to receive all the subcategories now again create a try catch if we catch any error we are going to display that relevant message and return empty list and inside the try we are going to use the category repository 
which is we have already created instance and using the category repository we are going to create a function get subcategories and we will pass the main category id so let's go to category repository and we are going to create a function over here which is to get subcategories so let me copy any function over here change the return type to list of category models because we are going to receive list of subcategories name it get subcategories and pass the category id now let's remove whatever is inside this try call the categories collection we are going to use the instance which is firebase firestore dot instance variable you can use it directly over here dot collection name it exactly same as you have in the database which is categories dot where parent id is equal to the category id we passed by using this where clause we will be able to extract all the categories who have the id of this parent and we will get the snapshot using box we will be able to convert those categories using this function inside the category model this function is going to receive the json we will convert that json and map it into this category model and return that model and dot to list will convert all the categories from json to a list and we'll return all the list to the function from where it has been called so let's head towards the category controller and you can see the error is gone and now we can easily return this function as well and also if we talk about get category product it is going to return us the four products as you can see the limit is four calling the product repository and calling dot get category id we will pass the category id and pass the limit which is four we can also pass the limit but default limit is four if we see the function this function is going to receive this category id and if limit is not provided which is by default four and if we provide the limit minus one it is going to get all the uh, product category relationships values it is going to extract it all of them and if we want only four it is going to get only four from the relationship and based on those product ids we will able to get all the products over here using the where clause and once we have all the products we will convert those products using product model and return all the products and we're going to use these two functions in the design let's go to subcategory screen and try to wrap this column with a widget which will be a future builder but i'm going to use stream builder change it to future builder remove all the extra values change the stream to future as well now in here to call the function controller dot get subcategories and we are going to pass the category id using category dot id it is going to return us the value in the snapshot in here i've created a loader which is horizontal product shimmer and i'm going to use the product shimmer effect that we have already created which is shimmer from colors you can get the package from pop.dev and pass this loader to a custom function that we have created to check the current states of our snapshot if it is waiting we're going to display this and also if we don't have any data or if we have an error if everything is fine we are going to return the null value and if we receive null it is going to execute the next thing and if it is not null it is going to return the widget instead of returning the main widget right so once we have all the subcategories now we have to extract the products of each subcategory now in order to do this I have to wrap this column because we are going to display this subcategory multiple times. So I'm going to create a list view dot builder over here. We have created a list view dot builder. Now inside this builder, we are going to paste this column because we have to return this from this list view. Now in order to get the exact details of subcategory, we have to use the list of subcategories and at the current index of this list view we will be able to extract the subcategory and now we can easily remove this static data with the subcategory dot name basically this subcategory is category model you can see it's a category model and using name we will be able to extract the name of the category and also using this on press we are going to call the all products screen that we already created inside this on press function we are going to call the get dot method and inside this method we are going to call the all product screen and inside the screen we have two variables that we need to pass title of the screen and also a future method if you remember the previous tutorial we can pass a query as well and also a future method so because we have created a function over here which is a future type of function so we are directly going to pass this function to this all products and automatically using the future builder it is going to retrieve all the product from this function we have a category id using subcategory dot id this is what we passed and limit is minus one this means that extract all the products of this subcategory when view all will be triggered so this is for the subcategory heading and now in here for the category related products because we also want to load all this column 
when all the products are ready instead of wrapping this widget with the future builder i'm going to wrap this column with a future builder again we're going to wrap it with a string builder change it to a future builder and inside this future builder i'm going to call controller dot get category product i'm going to pass a subcategory id which is subcategory dot id and instead of providing a limit if you hover over this product you can see by default it has a limit of four so we don't need to pass because we only want to extract four products for each category or the subcategory and in here for the all products when this all products will be tabbed we will be able to extract all the products of that specific subcategory now using this future builder we again have to do the same we have to need a loader and also we need to check if data has been loaded or not so inside this future builder remove the loader because loader we have already cleared at the top this is going to check if everything is fine if waiting state is over and also data has been found we will be able to receive the data over here because now this time it is not a subcategory it is going to return us a list of products because when you hover over this snapshot you can see we are going to receive a list of product model from the snapshot dot data we will receive the products so let's remove this change it with the products variable now using this products variable we can easily change this list view static values from item count products dot length and also in the item builder using the current index we are going to pass actual product so let's say we're going to receive the product over here so using products of current index we will be able to extract or send the product so now we have to create a name parameter inside that function you can simply declare required product model and product model over here and use it inside your application and also you can create a separate variable and use a product model over here and using required this product will do the same work and you have to assign this product and replace all the static values you can see we have a rounded image which is currently a static image products dot thumbnail is going to assign and remove this constant also if you hover over this you can see we have is network image which is false so we have to make this true because now we are going to get the image from the network then if you open this inside the common widgets you remember that we have already assigned everything inside the product called vertical and we use a controller which is product controller to get all the prices and all the calculations for one specific image like this one we have already product thumbnail so i'm going to use the same calculations same product controller copy this paste it inside the build method import the product controller and now we are going to assign all these values change this sale percentage because you can see we are duplicating the things so you can do what we have done for the favorite icon in the previous tutorial create a separate widget and assign all the values to those separate widgets instead of redoing all the things so we're using if sale percentage is not null we will be able to assign the sale percentage then for the favorite icon we will be able to extract this time product id sign the product dot id remove this constant as well next we have to change the title and all the other values we have a product dot title product dot brand dot name to get the brand name and then we have a pricing for the product and if you see over here we have to create a row which is a pricing row to create a flexibility because we have a sale price we covered this in-depth tutorial in the products and grid backend tutorial in which we learn each and everything so i'm just going to copy this and paste it over here the best way is to simply right click on the row refactor extract flutter widget if you're unable to do this you can do it manually you can simply extract the widget over here okay once all the widgets are assigned also i have added add to cart feature which we will cover in the upcoming tutorial of how we can manage this add to cart to add items in the cart so once everything is assigned let's run the application okay so our application is running and you can see the data has been loaded now when i'm going to click on any of the categories it should load all the data you can see the loaders and all the subcategories has been loaded with the one static image you can also get this image and create a new variable inside the categories or a new field inside the categories and whenever the each category has been opened you can display that specific category image inside over here the same way we wrote the banner so let me scroll through these products so we can see the four different type of horizontal scrolling products for each subcategory and you can also see all the count tag all the pricing title subtitle and also we can add it into the cart remove items from the cart you can see currently we have title and subtitle not uh, align on the left side so to do that let's open the product card horizontal and inside this column which is the size box with the 172 we have two columns so make sure the both columns have 
cross axis alignment should be started from the left side so let's save it and this time you can see they are aligned to the left side so this was what we are about to create in today's tutorial and also when i'm going to click on this view all button for the sports equipment you can see the title and you can see all the products of this category and also let's open the sports shoes we are going to extract all the sports shoes over here and also in order to add some extra space between these titles open the subcategories and inside the list food or builder and inside the future builder which is the last one find the column we have first heading then we have a size box then we have again a size box with the list view which is going to display all the products so when the products has been displayed next to it i'm going to add specific height between sections and let's save it now this is going to add some extra space you can reduce it or expand it as per your own likings okay so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new if you learned something new please like the video and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for all the upcoming videos you can also download the complete code link is in the description once again thank you for watching take care allah Hafiz.